high maintenance women, luxury seeking women, can they become marriage material or are they only good for situationships? We're going to talk about that and more on this edition of The Prey and the Debaucherous. Midweek episode of The Prey and the Debaucherous here, King of Podcast here with you. Let's get right into it. A story came out from yourtango.com. They put the story out about how a stay-at-home wife got backlash for saying her husband will have to pay for the luxury of having her available 24-7. Do I need to say that's delusional? What guy is going to accept that? Well, this story came out a few weeks ago. We're going to bring this up right now. A TikTok came out of it. And she writes on here, this is uh, at Little Ink Queen on TikTok. She writes, when I tell people I had my husband inside a contract agreeing if I was to be a stay-at-home wife and he decided to divorce me, he would have to pay me for 15 years after the divorce settled to equate for my lack work of work history. When I tell people I have access to my husband's financial accounts, but he has, doesn't have access to mine. And when I tell people I had my husband sign a contract that he could be a stay-at-home... Yeah, okay, that's the same thing. Got it. Stay-at-home mom and the responsibilities normally would come to that title would be child care, cooking, and cleaning up the house, but this one on TikTok, otherwise... So stay-at-home wife now has a completely different meaning out there. It's a self-explanatory term. Married woman stays at home, looks after the house. And children, if there are any, while her husband works out at the home and provides financially. So yeah, the idea of alimony for 15 years after. And yeah, the side of contract. Now, is it a binding contract? I mean, I think a lawyer would probably go ahead and question that. I don't know. But something tells me this young lady, she's pretty. Okay, don't get me wrong, she's attractive. But I think there's something to be said about where she thinks she can go ahead and put this idea out there and it's acceptable. What I think some people would just feel like, you know what, there's something very, very wrong with this. She also goes on to say that I'll be damned if I ever end up on the short end of the stick because he wanted the luxury of having me available 24-7. And she dubbed her video over the two horrified looks from everyone in the room. And so not everyone was impressed with her plan. Users commented on her TikTok video saying, "Uh, luxury, I'm sure that's how he sees it, LMAO. Another, this is so embarrassing. Another, I'm so convinced some women don't really want to get married, just want the wedding title and money. However, other users felt the woman was genius for thinking this way, and the positive comments were, my mom stayed at home to take care of me for 16 years, and now she's struggling when my dad is living without any financial worries. This makes me so happy. Another, this is actually a fair deal for him, which a lot of you don't understand. It's a, kind of a missing sentence right there. If it's a fair deal, can we explain it? No. Others compared the woman's contract to a prenup and commenced her on her wise thinking. And users were concerned about how the woman spent her days while her husband is working. And she says they do have a child uh, together and she takes care of and technically is a stay-at-home mom as well. Well, by the way, so you're telling me that the alimony along with the child support. I don't know. This is where marriage doesn't benefit. And this whole thing of this contract, even when you get into this, luxury of having her available 24-7. Look, I wish we didn't have prenups at all. Like, the prenups are made because it's to protect the people involved in the marriage for various reasons, for financial reasons. Because marriage, when you lock yourself in, is so dire. I'm in that same boat too. Well, when I look at it, I'm like, man, that's just scary right there. So she does have a kid and they go along. And by the way, she has the kid in the videos. I'm not sure about that. And then she goes along and puts a video out saying that everything screams about me. And she explains that in the video, I think this is pretty much a gimmick. I don't believe this could be 
totally true, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. But you were I married a woman that is relatively young. She's in her prior mid to late twenties and she's locked in. And I don't know why this guy thought this was a good idea that she wanted to be in here for this, but look, they have kids together. They have a child. I don't know. She says now in the video, having the luxury of watching me clean your home, having the luxury of me making and serving you homemade meals, having the luxury, having the privilege of watching and participating in me doing the nasty, it's all a privilege. All right. So she's cleaning the home, making and serving meals. So she is being a housewife. But the idea is that there's the contract. So he has to keep the lifestyle up. And if he doesn't, she thinks he can use that contract. Now, they, she said that she and her husband agreed to the contract since both of their parents are divorced, wanted to avoid the struggles they suffered if they ever split. And her husband acknowledges that she is a luxury in a series of text messages that the woman shared a screenshot with viewers. And he says it. You know, it's a luxury to look at you. Confidence and sexy always has been. And then she goes on and shows, okay, it, you know, it's a luxury to see you. Oh, I forget. There was something else that was said in there. I didn't watch the tech talk to videos, but on the, your tango feed, you can actually go and look at the videos themselves and check it out for yourselves. But I'm not a fan. Just annoying. Furthering that relevant question does it matter to get married should anybody get married is it any way beneficial if you feel like you're going to lose money off of it you might well very well be but everything comes up here and it's like it's disappointing nobody could just love for love anymore it's such a pay for play society now and if you're not doing marriage overall because of what everything else is going on, that the other thing too is that you're paying somehow, some way. Just keep that in mind. And everybody gets caught up in this, and I'm like, well, it's unfortunate, but we're seeing more and more every day that these kind of things are acceptable. It's normal behavior. And by the way, this is a guy that decided to do this. It's just his contract. Okay. But would you want to be part of this? I wouldn't. I think it's just wrong. The mindset is just off. The luxury of having her available 24-7. What a pedestal. What a pedestal put up there. So these are the kind of things I just don't... I feel off about. It just doesn't feel right. So that's what I'm talking about. I want to get into one more story before we wrap this episode up. We'll keep it short. Tinder actually came out with a new survey, a new trend led by FEMS. Oh, this is from Hybe, by the way, that Gen Z is more adept to the dating trend of situationships. It's becoming more common. That's what they prefer. Friends with benefits. But we're not calling it that anymore. That's a change. So Tinder now has a report that says that there's a rise of situationships with women leading the trend, more specifically, Tinder saw women posting about situationships nearly four times more than men. And instead of situations just being a gray area, thems are empowering themselves by asking for a casual, yet clearly defined relationship centered around transparency and freedom. Thankfully, women feel like they have to be in a relationship just to experience love, intimacy, and sexual pleasure, and are being honest about what feels right to them. So instead of obsessing over what are we, thems are simply enjoying the process. Now, Situationship. See, they're not talking about the quiet part out loud. Does anybody want to go admit, men, does anyone want to admit that situationships involve money? You might not perceive it as pay to play, but you are. Because the situationships, it's not just you're hooking up. Like, they don't want to hook up culture. They want friends with benefits. They want someone to go out, take them out, show them a good time with no strings attached. 
So you're still going to spend money. You're still going to spend the time. In these kind of situations, you might not even be going over to that person's house or they come to your house. Maybe you might have to buy a hotel room. And those are not cheap these days. But there's these kind of issues now that have come across and now it doesn't matter. Situationships are now more common. But I'll tell you what, as we close this out, situationships at least are a little more honest than marriages. So I would actually tell you, if women want to go into situationships, go for it. You're not having to pay for the luxury of her being there 24-7 because we don't want you there 24-7. Especially when it's this kind of feel where it's not a woman that is in it for you or I to feel good and, and to be somebody that doesn't want to let us go, wants to contribute, wants to create a good marriage, could create, create a great family, all of that. Maybe it's not that way. So maybe a situation shift sounds better because there could be a lot more people like you and I being depraved and debauchers. <laughs>